So in this video, I want to extend on our lesson for reflections. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this point A and we're going to reflect it across line M. And notice that line M has a slope that is not one or negative one. So that is the purpose of this lesson, to look at lines that have different slopes than what we've used before. So find two points on the line that you can use to evaluate the slope. We see that it goes one down, that's negative one for the y, and two to the right, that's positive two for the x. So the slope of this line is negative one over two. And in our algebra review, we said that perpendicular slopes are reciprocals with an opposite sign. So if we flip this one half, we get two over one, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. So we want to use a slope of two over one to find a reflection point. So the next thing we want to do is say, let's start at point A and go up two and one to the right. That is the perpendicular slope but we notice that we're moving away from our line M. So instead of two up and one to the right, we can change both of these, make both of them opposites and go two down and one to the left. So I'm going to erase all of this here and say, let's go back to our point A. And instead, we're going to go two down and one to the left. And we see we land right on our line here. So this is the perpendicular path that we're finding. And we see that we went um, two down, one to the left. That's one instance of applying this direction, this motion. And we want to do this again to be equidistant. So two down and one to the left gives me an equidistant um, path on both sides of the mirror. And now I can mark this and say this is perpendicular because we used a perpendicular slope and that these two segments are congruent. So we have satisfied the perpendicular and equidistant aspects of the reflection. And I can say that this is the image point A prime. And we see that that is at the location, negative 1, negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3 is our answer here. So here's the next example. Pause the video here. Try to do this on your own. And then unpause to watch me guide you through the solution. So just as in the previous example, we want to first evaluate the slope of line M. So we want to find two points on the line that we can use to measure the slope. I see that this slope is going up one, two, three, and to the right one. So slope is three over one. That means that the perpendicular slope, we have to flip the fraction and change the sign. So the perpendicular slope would be negative one third. That means now we want to start at our B point, our pre-image, and we want to move one down and three to the right. And now we're moving in a perpendicular path to line M. And we'll do that again, one down and three to the right. And we land on our mirror. And we say, okay, now that we're on our mirror, we did that pattern twice. Let's do that pattern twice again on the other side of the reflection line so we can be equidistant. So one down and three to the right. And then we do it a second time, one down and three to the right. And this would be the location of our B prime. And we see the coordinates here are seven, one. Okay, so again, the steps were to first find the slope of the line you were reflecting across, then find its perpendicular slope, then start at your pre-image point and move with the perpendicular slope till you land on the mirror and then continue so that you have an equidistant location on the other side of the mirror and record those coordinates. So that is the end of this example. And 
You can go on and complete the homework practice, check the answer key, come to class with questions, and be ready for your assessment.